with that, we are on the way to week three of the XFL. The Florida folks pulling out their winter coats. 68 degrees and sunny here in Tampa. Week three ready to open. Houston Roughnecks at 2-0 take to the road for the first time. They come in as an eight-point favorite. And the Tampa Bay Vipers finally get their home opener. Here at home, Tampa Bay wants the football. of XFL kickoffs are returned like that one from Rennell Hall. We're down to five, approaching midfield. Here's Cornelius. Throwing and caught. It's Horn. And a big game, a big first down. After the He'll attempt this one from 48. Kick on the way. And it is good. was the XFL player of the week. Right now, he's like a 250 pound bar of soap. Six. Walker to throw for. Watch one, just too far. Cam Phillips. Progression. Throwing on third and six. Now the quarterback takes off. There's some of that athleticism. Third and five. Cornelius. That's a zip on that. It's a catch to Jalen Tolliver, and it's a first down. Diana. Protection's good. Gets rid of it. Behind Reese Horn, Jay Walker and company. Trailing by a field goal deep in their own territory. Here's Walker. Steps up and throws. Ball was tipped, and it's caught. Racing down the sideline is who else but Cam Phillips for the touchdown. That's his fifth of this young season. Just a beautiful route. Watch the eyes of the defender. I mean, his eyes are in the backfield. You watch him, and he is Rain. up thinking that Rain. Walker's about to run. Instead, no, he doesn't. Will Stutter go over the top? Hey, you find what's been the most productive wide receiver in the XFL through the Hunt first Hunt. couple weeks. Hunt, Hunt, Hunt. Wildcats from a week ago. Going for three. Back of the end zone, it's caught. Sam Mobley. 16. One play was all they needed to go 84 for the touchdown. And the throw, and the two Viper defenders collided. Looked like either one of them could have made the interception. Hanneman and Branch. The nickel and the free safety collide. Man, they could have potentially gone with an illegal use of the helmet on the friendly fire there. I mean, you see those two guys trying to converge on the football. Almost had an interception, but a pretty violent collision there. <laughs> 36. Here's Flowers. Protection is good. Used to rushing only four that time. And Flowers down the sideline, and it's caught. Jalen Tolliver in a play that took forever to develop, and it's well worth the wait for Tampa Bay gain of 23. Traffic and the catch is made. What a grab and the flag. How did Davion Smith hang out of that one when Cody Brown just wrecked him? And that has this home crowd fired up. I don't agree with that call on the personal foul. Those are the hits we thought the XFL wants to have in the game. Keeping it. Quentin Flowers. That's the first offensive touchdown of the season for the Tampa Bay. Right there for Houston. Well, you heard June Jones say same. That means the handoff and the run are going to be on the same side. On the ground. Yes, sir. Butler yes, sir. patiently 
picking his holes. Branch forced him out. There's your Z. Expect under. Bubble the snap. Walker picks it up. Now trying to turn seven. Out of nothing and into the end zone for the most unlikely of touchdowns. Off the fumbled snap, P.J. Walker picks it up and runs into the end zone for another roughneck touchdown. Wow. I mean, broken play. Try to get a quick snap. Able to pick it up, create something like you said, Steve, out of nothing. Heads up play there by Walker of what you thought might be a disaster at the start of that snap. They solidify. These teams are going to be dangerous down the stretch. P.J. Walker got rid of it quickly. Cam Phillips. Hank is a curl route, so see if they go with the curl route to the left side. Five receivers. It's Sam Mobley. Mobley. Here for the field goal attempt. Sergio Castillo. 28 yards. With the more accurate thrower of the two. Hurry, hurry. Cornelius started, got the first two series. Quentin Flowers show after that. Pass threaded perfectly to Jalen Tolliver. Just like I always say, whenever my number get called, I'm always ready to play. And uh, I was ready. I was ready. Here we go. Cornelius inside the five. Damian Smith, the back trying to push the pile. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short. Go. Thank you. When they're Monday. First and goal. Hurry, hurry, set. Just got that away. Cornelius trying to bang home in that big frame into the end zone for the touchdown. Needed all six, six of them. Hurry, hurry, set. That's just defense for them, of course. Cornelius a throw for it, and it is caught. Him on a go route. See if he gets one-on-one -on -one coverage. On third and one. Walker the deep shot. A lot of contact down there, and the flag comes in. Pass interference. Defense, number 23. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. Five NFL games. We're trying to get back to the league. Sammy Coach. That's a 36-yard penalty in essence. And James Butler is the ball carrier. Second and 14. Pressure again. Walker gets it away. It's Cam Phillips making people miss into the end zone for yet another touchdown. Walker to Phillips. Score again for the Roughnecks. Looking to go up eight. Ball spotted at the five for two-point play. On the ground, the draw to Butler. That looked easy. Run right by him over here. Run right by him. You know what's coming at home. Or attempting anyway. Here's Walker going to take off. All sorts of green and cuts it off. And only because he stumbles. Tackled by the turf monster. Out to the 34 yard line. And great job. Didn't like anything downfield. The pass rush gets too aggressive. Next thing you know, he's out in open space. He gave himself up. We should take the man at his word. <laughs> Here's Sergio Castillo. 49 and missed it. Our NASCAR son. Cornelius got it in there to Jalen Tolliver. First down and more, the 20. There for the Vipers. Corey and Ballard had a decision to make. Strong safety. Guess wrong. Out to Williams in the flat. To the 10. In there. End zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Campfire. <laughs> Houston's extinguishing it. Yeah. <laughs> From 43 to give the Vipers the lead. It is on the way, and it is good. No turnovers in the game by either team. Walker again down the sideline. This time for Cam Phillips, and a flag comes in. Me. Took a job he didn't want him to take. They patch things up. Well, they've never talked about that Black Rose thing. 
Here's Walker to the seam to Cam Phillips. Touchdown. Roughnecks back on top. The fifth lead change of the game. That's a great job by Walker, though. Look at him drift away from the pressure. See the right side. There's an unblocked rusher coming off the right. He knows he's unblocked. So what? Going from the five for two points. Rojo is caught. Nick good enough the first time around. With loving his ability, two and a half games of the XFL on his way. Here's Dan Williams coaching. Monday, Monday. Hurry, hurry, son. Tolliver. The throw. Third and seven. It's there. Beauty of a ball by Cornelius. And Jalen Tolliver has the first down. To slant, perhaps, Dan Williams up top. Cornelius in trouble now. Throwing. And a too far away for Dan Williams. Got a throw here, second and 13. Cornelius intercepted. Picked off. Demarcus Gates had a whole miss with the interception to likely seal the game. All three have been Houston <laughs> rough neck games. Houston's going to go to 3-0. They'll play at Dallas next week. It's the Renegades. That'll be a good one. And the final seconds will tick off.